Oh, you asked me about time. Well, okay, the entertainer has an awful lot of spare time. So you've got to find something to do in that spare time or you'll go crazy. You'll, you'll end up sitting around taking drugs. That happens to a lot of entertainers. So you have to find a uh, something that'll pull you outside of your room, and that is the treasure hunt or the hunt for the for old records, which I've said is the same kind of a high as when you find the girl. Um, and that's what I do when I'm out there. It's in a way, it's a religious quest. Hell, I'm saying prayers the whole time. I'm not letting anybody see me do that, but I am. And then I'm feeling bad about saying the prayers. And I'm saying, oh, just let it ride. Go ahead and do it. You know, it's, And that's what I've chosen to do in my spare time. Now, there's two different kinds of collectors. There's, there's, I just go out and look for them and then sell them. What about the people who have enormous thousands and thousands of records. I believe those are people who are anal retentive personality types. And I hate everybody's using that word anal retentive these days, you know, and they're using it incorrectly. Uh, in most cases, uh, anal retentive pers personality type collects money or records or turtles or, yeah, he has a huge collections of things, you know. And what it really is is shit. Because his parents said, shit is bad, shit is evil. Um, okay, there's two reactions that can happen to that. One is to spew the shit all over the world, which is what I do <laughs> by selling the records. <laughs> and the other is to have rooms and rooms and rooms full of shit. That's in Freud. You only have one room full of shit, though, John. <laughs>